And finally, number 12, I know I mentioned 16, but I think I'm going to stop here. You want to create merchandise and branded products? What am I talking about? It's a workshop. I have to give you this whole thing now. Uh, by force. You create merchandise and branded product. Many of you don't think about that in terms of making extra money as a bookpreneur. I'm showing you the full package. How you can be a bookpreneur and make multiple streams of income from it. Merchandise and branded products, they sell well. Particularly if you're able to come out, con, con a good name out of uh, a, a catchy phrase. All right? Like in parenting styles now, uh, uh, Lee might come up with something like uh, 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 God sent parents. All right? Or a super parent. Or whatever. Give them a name. You, you need to have a name for your community. And then you create, because they just created the merchandise for business nation right now. I don't teach what I don't do. My guy, Mutil in Lagos, has just created the design for T-shirt, for cap, for mugs, for, for, for cups. Okay? And then as we grow, I'm going to do for shoes. I'm going to do for stuff. Now, those things is going to go on the store for business nation. Some people will get it just because they own uh, my NFT. When the NFT comes out, they will get it for free. Or when they reach a certain, maybe, for instance, my elites. They pay me three thousand dollars. Why can't I give them a cup and a T-shirt for free? For instance, maybe when you become an elite, I send you a cup. I send you one of this stuff. It's all going to be included because we included in the package. Or maybe I put it in the stock, and then you can buy it, depending on how I feel. Who is to say they won't buy it? So same way, the same thing with you. Thank God for many of these uh, online stores. Now you don't even have to invest any money in it. If you go to Tea Springs, Tea Spring is free. You create your, your store and you put your merchandise there about designs from your book. It's, it's ingenious, but people don't do it. You have nothing to lose and a lot to gain, particularly if you get the design done right. Like this parenting styles, and I've not read the book. I think I have to go into there. Uh, Lee, I'm sure you probably sent me the book before, but please resent because I'm really resonating with you. You are very, very... Are confident of this your book stuff and you are you are carrying it on your head i have to help you carry this stuff i will read it and come up with some ideas of merchandise for you if you don't if you haven't thought about any you have nothing to lose you simply go to all those merchandising sites again my strategy is very simple it's mass attack you don't stop at tea springs we are going to look at 10 different merchandising stores that work like tea spring that is free all you are doing is uploading a JPEG, for God's sake. You get it designed, you upload it, you describe your product, you put the price there, and you forget it. How, how hard can it be? They have their market. You don't be seeing sales coming. Based on, so that sale will even sell your book. You might say if they buy a T-shirt, they get, get a copy of the book for free. See? The T-shirt will be like 39 bucks or something like that. But your book is digital, costs you nothing. You buy a T-shirt, you get a copy of my book for free. And that can even be when you are launching your product, your book, that might be part of what we are talking about. Branded products. And you can create it. You can have part of your merchandise is your, uh, uh, your devotional. That's a merchandise that is branded with the colors of your book. A T-shirt, a cap, a pen depending on whatever industry you are in. What are you guys talking about? Branded Bible for the Christian guys. They'll buy if your niche is a Christian stuff and you are doing uh, 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 empowerment in that area. Why not? Those who are selling it, there's plenty of them. There's a lot of people who are selling brand. Mark Mundock has his own Bible. I know I bought it at one point. And all, all it really was, he calls it the Wisdom Bible. But if I look on my shelf, I, it's just that there's, I've got over a thousand books. I don't know if I can find it in a few seconds because I haven't used it in a very long time. But it put it in bound, whatever. I bought that put in 97 bucks, the Bible. It, was, it put it in leather form. He called it the Wisdom Bible. And all he had is that quotes from his book. That's what made it close because his books are Christian, of course. So he just put quotes from some of his books that is relevant under topic uh, uh, topic might be parenting topic might be christian lifestyle topic might be working in uh, in faith then he puts a uh, 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 quotes from his book there that's the bible go check it online wisdom bible is so thousands of it i paid 97 bucks 
because I bought his book, The Wisdom uh, uh, 1 to 7 volume. And then in the book, I saw him promoting that you can buy the Wisdom Bible. So I went to buy it. So you can think of merchandise products in your own area. In your niche. Don't go outside anybody's niche. Every niche that you're in, there's merchandise there. You just haven't thought about it. It's all part of your package. Even when your merchandise is also out there, it gives you a different flair. That reminds me, by the way, Olufunke, we need to put uh, uh, that merchandise in the in the wheel of business we're doing on Saturday. Let some people win the cap and t-shirts and all that. That's how we create a, 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 a store for it. I will put it in a store. This spring will not take me one hour. By the time I tell Eric to go there, Bio, Bio, we have all those all those merchandise live in less than two hours. Then people can go there to go buy. Who's to say they won't buy? You haven't asked them. There are people who really love this nation that won't mind buying the t-shirt and the cap because it is value. They are not. They are paying the same price they will pay to buy a t-shirt. Why would not they buy my own? Or I may decide that when you get a certain number of uh, uh, tokens. I'm going to, you are going to earn uh, the the t-shirt. We put real value to it. But in your own case, you can use the merchandise to sell your book and use your book to sell the merchandise. So on the sites where you are loading your merchandise, you can then say when you buy this merchandise today, you get a bonus of the book from which the merchandise came out because the book costs you nothing. So you can give that as a bonus. It's a digital book, right? But they are paying you for the merchandise. You are still making money. And you are not investing in the merchandise. The merchandise is, print, is printed and published by those sites. When people order it, they will create it and send it to that person. They collect their own part and they give you your commission. Money is money. If your book, if your t-shirt is thirty-nine dollars on Teespring, maybe Teespring will give you twenty percent of that. But maybe you get eighteen dollars or nine dollars or ten dollars, whatever. But you have not invested any money. They are the ones that are printing. They are getting nine dollars. For doing nothing other than promoting your merchandise don't gone are the days where you have to spend money to have merchandise no you don't there are sites by the way eric why don't you do me that favor i love to do because this is just it's just, it's just going on me right now okay get me a list of 10 different sites that are similar to teespring where you can publish your merchandise and branded products for free basically you share revenue with them so that we can put that as part of the of the training all right so you can do that you can use chat gpt to help you brainstorm product ideas that align with the team message or characters from your book see take uh, those of you who write maybe in the novels your novel will have a character why can't you create merchandise from that ah but me myself as i'm teaching i told you the first time i'm teaching this an idea just occurred to me my daughter she has a book. She has written two of them, uh, novels. She has written two novels even before Chat GPT. Uh, what's it called now? Shattered Windows. She wrote that when she was 13. She's 15 now. Now she has written the follow up to it. It just occurred to me that she could have a merchandise for that. Because the book did very well. Among people of our, of our crowd and our school, they really love her for that. I could have created merchandise. I didn't even think about that. Merchandise about that, Navia. She has a character called Navia. See, that is how, how you create value for your books. You should be thinking about that. Okay, use ChatGPT to ask you. You can ask you questions like, what are some merchandise ideas that will appeal to the fans of my book? All right, why don't we do a little experiment? Let me go to ChatGPT and put in parenting style there. Let me see what it will tell me. I just wrote a book about a book titled titled parenting styles uh, um lee can you give me a one line summary what is the book about one line one sentence summary yes go ahead Oh, I still have to do a lot of work on you. I asked you to give me one sentence summary of your book. You have to have your, uh, yes, my book is about, okay, go. Uh, 
Uh huh. Uh, uh, start, start to parenting styles uh, on our parenting styles affect child development. Uh huh. Yeah, that's a good one liner. You have to have one liner for everything you do. So, what are some of the what are some merchandising ideas that would appeal to fans of my book? All right, let's ask our GPT and let's see what it says. Aha. Look at it. It said t-shirts and apparel. Create t-shirts, hoodies, onesies featuring quotes or imagery from your book that highlight the importance of various parenting styles. Mugs. See, that t-shirt apparel, when they are designing for you, see how it says? Featuring quotes or imagery from your book that highlight the importance of various parenting styles. So one of the t-shirts may have styles of parenting there. You mentioned about four just now. That will be put on the, on the stuff. Mugs. Design marks with key messages from your book related to parenting styles and child development. Notebooks. Produce notebooks with attractive covers that include illustrations or quotes from your book, encouraging readers to jot down their own parenting styles. You can just tell ChatGPT to create that notebook for you, and then you put it as a merchandise. Poster prints. Of offer poster size prints featuring beautiful designs and quotes that capture the essence of your book's themes. Number five, tote bags. Design reusable tote bags with images or slogans that promote the different parenting styles discussed in your book. Keychains, I never thought about that. Create keychains with symbols or quotes that represent each parenting child, uh, style, allowing fans to carry a piece of your book with them. Pins and badges. I will actually copy this and send it to you. It's actually long. This is amazing. He gave me 12 right there. Bookmarks. You haven't thought about that. Interactive quizzes. Okay. So my point is, you do this, then you sit down with your designer. Remember, all you are doing is getting the design out. You are not paying money to print any of this shit. Okay. You are going to be publishing it the same way you publish on Amazon and people order print copy. Amazon prints sends it to them that also that is a whole store that you can i saw 12 ideas there let's even say it's 10 you implement like i said you are building a business you can't get yourself overwhelmed you you plan it so when you have your store and you have all this merchandise there the only hard work you are then doing is to make sure you publish it on teespring and all nine other sites that hopefully you are in the uh, in the elite class i definitely will post that for you these are things you ask in the chat because we have a group chat there where you guys can ask about your own niche we actually have a, a chat room for uh, um uh, for um and uh, book printers i'm going to create that now we don't have book printer before but this is a whole different niche that i think is huge all right uh, chat gpt say give me 15 ideas that's what Tafik just said did you just do that now? You've done that before. But these are things opening up your mind. So now you can have a store, an e-commerce store. Sorry, you are saying something? Ah, okay. Because I know it wouldn't have occurred to you. I know it wouldn't have occurred to you. Yeah, but now it has occurred. All right. So... All right, everybody should follow that. You have nothing to lose, just but some work. Because once you get the ideas, you get a designer. I always recommend Muti. Muti is my best designer in the world, as far as I'm concerned. Muti will work with you for the old merchandising design. It may not charge you more than a hundred bucks. For those your ten design, you want different versions, blah blah blah. Hundred bucks, it will do it for you. It will give you the different PNG, a JPEG, all the stuff that the size will require. With the sizes so your job then is to go publish them you publish them and now you have your own stuff for your niche and as you're creating books you are creating more merchandise you will be surprised as you then begin to grow your following you'll be surprised how many of them will want to buy your merchandise because i'm going to do it for business I, I didn't Google before. I only just came up with my own ideas. But now that I saw that, when I talk about parenting, he gave me ideas about that. I'm going to ask it about business, community of 
are building a community of successful uh, netpreneurs. What kind of merchandise can we put in our store? And whatever it gives me, you will see me implement it. It's money. This is this is this is amazing. All right. For design, we talk about Canva. Canva has plenty of designs. Once you have decided what to do after you have asked your GPT, okay. Then you go to print, uh, print on demand services. That's what I was talking about. T Spring is T uh, print on demand. T Spring T E E S P R I N G T Spring dot com. I know that one because I I was on T Spring for 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 years. I'm gonna to have to go back there, and they have plenty like that. Okay, that's printful.com. Teespring.com. Eric just didn't put enough here. He put three. Okay, the man try. But it's going to get me 10 because I see this as a real, real, real income generator for everybody in their niche. But we are talking about book premium now. Teespring.com. Redbubble.com. And then your domain, when you are, when you are creating your store, you forward it to a subdomain of your main domain for the book. So you have your store. Remember what I said? Whatever niche you are in, you want to get a domain that is that has that name or that is similar to the name of the niche. Then subdomain for every book that you create so that you don't have to keep buying new domains every time. So one of the subdomains will be your shop. Shop dot whatever. And then you, you load, so you own your own shop. Then you go to all these places and also list your services. Create an online store to showcase and sell your merchandise. And then you might use platforms like Shopify. You are going, if you really want to really, really, if you really like the way your shop is coming up, you can actually then uh, uh, go get a shop, Shopify store and then uh, uh, host it there because Shopify will cost you money to host it every month. But if you want to do it free, you go to the print-on-demand stores. All right? And then it talks about Again, to market your, your book, sorry, to market your store and to promote it, ask your GPT, don't ask Dr. Okpe, ask your GPT, what are some of the effective ways to market and merchandise my book? You can see that this is how to, that we are teaching here. This is a, a, a workshop. I won't go into all this depth in just a webinar. The webinar is to set up people buying the course, but you are getting it right now. You ask your GPT, can you help me? Come up with catchy phrases or slogans for my merchandise. You can even ask, ask ChatGPT, how can I create buzz and excitement around the launch of my merchandise? Because as you launch your book, you can also launch your merchandise. Now you are seeing how big your niche is. Because it's because you are still thinking it is small. That's why you want to do book publishing. You want to do software. You want to do this. This alone, just following it alone. You can't finish it. And that is just one niche. So there is no need jumping from niche to niche. Just develop one. Some of you might take you three months before your store takes off. And that's okay. You are building a niche. You are building a business. Don't let anybody tempt you with go to go do uh, software. Don't let anybody tempt, tempt you with going to go do uh, different businesses. Focus on this book premium niche. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you can get to six figures in a year just implementing some of this stuff. Now, we thought that this store alone, you'd be surprised how much you can be making you every month. Now you have an e-commerce store that is selling stuff related to your niche. If you're in the dating niche, that means your store can have all sorts of dating stuff to go with your book. You're a book printer in the dating niche, so you have all this memorabilia that has to do with dating. That is based on books that you have written. If you are feeling me here, give me a 12. We have actually forgotten. I forgot to get my 11, but let's let's go to 12 right there. Give me 11 with an emoji, a 12 with an emoji. If you are feeling this, yes, we are going to wrap up very soon. I know that many of you, you are, over, you are overfed now. All right? <laughs> Come on, give me my 12. I want my 12. I want my 12. Yes, it's a master, it's a workshop. That's what I call a workshop. We are about to hit, we are about to hit the five-hour mark, but we are going to wrap this up. 
All right. Awesome, awesome. Guys, after this event, really, I need you guys to give me a video testimonial. There are not too many here. I'm going to call you guys out one by one. Anne-Marie, Eric, F. Love, Funke Akimade, Funke, uh, my own Funke, Funbi, Joseph Okunaye, Parenting Book Author, that's Lee, Share, Taufik, I need a testimonial video on just on this uh, uh on this course because i'm going to actually i'm going to i'm going to really really blow it up i'm going to sell this course and it's going to help a lot of people but i need testimonial video about how what you gained from there how how you felt attending the uh, uh brook premium master uh, workshop that's the one I, that's what i wanted to call it in your video uh, attending the book premium uh, uh, workshop uh, let's let's make this thing work uh, for me okay because i'm seeing possibility here how we can change lives all right of course packaging of your book this is if you are delivering the book yourself, but you don't want to get into all this mess. This is all advanced, advanced thing. You want to just get the published on demand size to handle this for you, at least initially. Don't give yourself too much work. Just publish it on their sites, and then you have it on your own, also on your store, so that when people order it, they will order it from those stores. You don't want to, on your own store, you don't really want to, if it involves you, uh, having to print it, don't do that. Print on self on demand. So when you sell from your store, then you go and order it for them. From that, your store, because they will allow you to, to order your, your, your own. So don't get into the business of going to go print those stuff, put it in your house, and then, no, 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 don't do that. You're going to lose money or you're going to get distracted from your main business, which is publishing books. All of these are extra income opportunities. I don't want you to distract yourself by focusing on the shop. You are not an e-commerce, you are not in the e-commerce niche. It's just that e-commerce is part of your income generation for your niche. Your niche is writing books, getting inspiration to write good books in your niche. So don't get yourself involved in a shop that will then end up eating all of your time and you can't write books anymore. So use book publication sites. So I'm going to jump all of that. Uh, online community site. Now, let me ask you guys. We still have three more to go. Do we stop here? Maybe we do part two another day. Maybe because I feel that I'm over over feeding you five hours is a long is a long time to do a workshop. So maybe we should call it a day here. I still have three more to share. What I will do is we might do a part two. Then I'll just take from 12 to 16 again because I know I rushed a few of these. I think that's the best thing uh, to do. Uh, I, I, I'm feeling 